take a deep breath because what you're about to witness will permanently change the way you see your place in the universe. Right now, you're standing on a small blue planet, floating inside a cosmic ocean so unbelievably vast. Even NASA says our brains are not built to truly understand its scale. So today, we zoom out from Earth to the edge of everything we can see. From the ground, Earth feels infinite. Mountains stretch for miles, oceans feel bottomless. But climb just a few thousand kilometers above the surface and the entire planet fits beneath your feet like a glowing marble. At the International Space Station's height, the atmosphere looks impossibly thin, just 1% of Earth's total volume. Go farther, and you see the moon, orbiting at 384,400 kilometers away. A distance NASA likes to visualize by saying, you could fit every planet in the solar system between Earth and the moon, with room to spare. And then comes Jupiter, so massive you could fit 1,300 Earths inside it. And yet, all of this is tiny compared to our sun. The Sun, our star, is so enormous it makes up 99.8% of all mass in the solar system. And still, our Sun is just one star among an estimated 100 to 400 billion others inside the Milky Way. As you zoom out past the outer planets, past the Kuiper Belt, past the Oort cloud that stretches almost a light year wide. The solar system shrinks into a tiny dot, a speck, buried inside one of the Milky Way's spiral arms. You live in a galaxy, 100,000 light years across and 1,000 light years thick. Yet NASA estimates we've explored far less than one ten billionth of it. But even a galaxy that large is not truly large. Our nearest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, is 2.5 million light years away so far that the light you see from it tonight left before humans evolved. Andromeda is heading straight toward us at 110 kilometers per second on a collision course that will merge our galaxies into a new one, Milk Dromeda. All around them, more than 50 dwarf galaxies orbit like tiny moons. Together, these galaxies form the local group, spanning about 10 million light years. But the local group is just one neighborhood inside something staggeringly bigger. A structure so huge that when it was discovered, astrophysicist Brent Tully said, it redefines our understanding of home. This is the Laniakea Supercluster, a cosmic continent containing 100,000 galaxies and stretching 520 million light years across.
And yet, the universe gets bigger still. When scientists mapped galaxies in 3D, they discovered something shocking. Galaxies aren't scattered randomly. They form filaments, long strands of stars and dark matter, interconnected like neurons in a cosmic brain. These structures can extend hundreds of millions of light years, forming what NASA calls the largest known pattern in existence. And now, the farthest frontier. The edge of the observable universe 46.5 billion light years away in every direction. Not because it's the edge of everything, but because it's the edge of what light has had time to reach us. Beyond that horizon lies a universe we will never see, a region expanding faster than light itself. So what does all this tell us? That the Milky Way, our entire galaxy, is a microscopic island in an ocean too vast to comprehend. And yet, you are part of it. Every atom in your body was forged inside a dying star billions of years before Earth existed. You aren't separate from the universe. You are the universe, looking back at itself, trying to understand. And if this journey lit something inside you, you're in the right place. Subscribe to Quantum No because we're just getting started. The cosmos is bigger than you think, and so is your place in it.